Mar Mars and welcome to my new kitchen. I know some of you guys aren't really used to it, but I hope you guys like balls. Big balls. Because today I'm making a giant DIY boba ball. I actually don't know if it's going to work because I've never seen a giant boba ball in my entire life. If you don't know what boba is, boba is like this tapioca pearls that are in drinks such as coffee, tea, smoothies. They're just like really fun to chew on. They're kind of like gummies almost. You like suck them up and into your mouth and you just chew on them. Like I went to like four different stores and they like had no more ingredients everywhere. I had to go to four stores and this is all I can get. So I'm going to try to make it as big as possible. I don't know how big that is, but I'm not going to ask you guys to get any likes on this video today because I'm going to actually watch the other videos that I already told you guys to get likes on. So if you guys want to go back to those DIYs and like those, I'm going to wait and see if we actually hit the marks on those and do what I promised I'm going to do. So you guys do not have to like this video if you don't want to. Just like it if you actually like it. Give me a big thumbs up if you like balls or boba or whatever. If you're a new subscriber, I post a video every single day here at 12 p.m. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to become a Marmar too. Marmars are me, they're you, they're just people that are in this family. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Damn, boba time! This is all the tapioca starch I could find in the stores. I only have five bags total, so hopefully this can make a giant boba. This is about 20 ounces, which is about four cups of tapioca. This is another 20 ounces right here. One, two, four. Your water to really, really hot boil because there's a lot of tapioca in here, and you want to make sure it incorporates really well and doesn't get all weird and slimy and stuff. Now it's at a rolling boil. Look, you can hear it. it's like bubbling. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. So back at my starch, I'm slowly just gonna incorporate it in. It's like transforming it right away. Play with it, but it's like really scary hot. <laughs> ouch, ouch. I'm like trying to find the boba. Oof, it's so hot. Just gonna use the stick for now. Ah, uh, so hot. Ouch. Oh, boba. So I decided to put the boba on the table because I thought it was gonna be a lot easier to play with here. It is still very warm. Oh my goodness, but look how beautiful it's turning out. Ah, it's warm. It's kind of warm still. Okay, anyways, I'm playing with it and playing with it, and you just gotta knead it and just get the boba tapioca working really well together. Now, I got some more tapioca powder in here, and I'm gonna add it to my other giant boba and make a bigger boba using more tapioca powder. It's just starting to look all messy and hot and juicy like this once you add a little bit more liquid to the big boba plus the other tapioca powder that you have, and then you just wanna throw it on your table and start massaging it and kneading it and just, this is, ah, it's so hot. Oh, Okay, it's really hot, but it's really, really fun. <sighs> okay, just keep going, going, and just massaging your boba because hard work always pays off. This is like life, guys. You just got to keep going and pushing until it looks like that. Look at how beautiful it's starting to look. You might be wondering why the boba is white. It's because all boba is actually white, but people add brown food coloring, brown sugar, and that's where it gets the black brownness from that you see in most boba. A large pot with water. After the water is boiling like so, you want to go ahead and slowly, gently put your boba in there. Woo, look at it. Floating around like a beautiful boba. Woo, and then you want to make sure you just move it around so it does not get flat on one side. Use maybe the two spoon technique. And then I checked it out after 10 minutes and it's looking good. It's nice and squishy and it's still round. That's a good sign. Okay, okay. I checked it again. 10 minutes later, it's even more. It strained out the water and now I'm going to attempt to pour it into this bowl. Come on, baby. Oh, ah, that was hot. That was hot. I definitely got water everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. The thing about boba is that it starts to get sticky like, right away. Wow, look at this. Look how massive this boba ball is. Holy crap. Now that we made the boba, you want to make some sauce by adding brown sugar, brown sugar, and stir and stir. All right, so the boba is, this is like what real boba looks like. It's actually more white than brown. I'm actually going to add the brown stuff here in a second. But yeah, this is a fresh giant boba. Look how jiggly it is. This is what they do to make it more brown is you're adding this sugar syrup water on top. And what that does is it's gonna add the flavor to it. It's gonna make it sugary and delicious. You just like add that to it and that's what, how you get the normal delicious boba that you know and love. I 
I didn't even know that it was gonna stay in its own solid form or shape like that. I was really nervous it was gonna unravel and turn into like a pancake boba thing. It's actually, it's doing pretty well in here. This is sugar water, it's marinating in this. This is like normally what you would put boba in, it'll turn brown eventually. Big as my head, dude, look how massive this is. Oh my gosh, look how, ooh, it's sticky too. Ooh, 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 boba, 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 okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip it to the side that's been marinating for a while. Ooh, this side. Ooh, look how brown and juicy that looks. All right, guys, here we go. DIY giant boba in Marmar's kitchen. I'm about to take a huge bite right now. Here we go. Mm, that's crazy. Wow, I've never had the biggest boba in my life. It's like a mouthful of boba. But I feel like I cooked this perfectly. Wow, like it's never been done before. Like, look at that. It's cooked perfectly. Look at the inside right there. It's sweet. It's delicious. It's chewy. It has a great texture. Oh my gosh, I'm the boba master now. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. It's so delicious. I can't believe how good it is. Like boba. 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 Ah, that was hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh, oh it's dropping so, it? It's so hot. It's so hot. Hey. Oh. Hey, look. It's a smiley face. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As you know, I post another video. I, I post a video. Yo, wait, 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 wait. You want to drop this all the way up there? Oh, yeah. I forgot I have that. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, it's kind of hot. Okay, okay. Let's do it. I'm down. I'm down. Okay, <laughs> guys, I forgot that I have a loft. I'm going to drop my boba, the biggest boba in the world, off the, not the highest area in the world, but the pretty, the tallest point in my apartment. <laughs> Here. X. Marks the spot. Here we go, guys. Okay. Oh, X marks the spot. Are you guys ready? In three, two, one. Boba! Oh, oh my god! Wow, that was awesome! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace! And welcome back to my kitchen today. We are back with something I can eat I'm not sure if it's gonna taste good kind of weird, but bear with me. Today we are making edible slime hot Cheetos All right for this DIY you're gonna this is gonna be the most important ingredient you need fiber it contains this ingredient called bacil 